This is the third session, and we are uh, delving into the uh, secrets of the mind. You know, uh, we will be looking more and more into the secrets which are not commonly known to the people, but which are very powerful and which can explain a few of the things which you are probably witnessing in your life and people around you. So let's begin this. Uh, the basic idea of uh, this program is to help people power their dreams, especially business people. Uh, when they understand how the mind works and how it can be used to make your dreams come true, to make your uh, innermost passions turn real in the physical world outside. So this is the uh, technology which is uh, normally used. This is the uh, innermost secrets of the mind, how the mind works. So we will be looking at uh, uh, the conscious mind and the subconscious mind uh, today in detail, and especially at, as to how do they connect to the infinite powers of this creation? How do they connect to the universal mind and how they can be controlled by us? And how can we find out if we have been able to establish that connection? And how can we find out if that connection has broken for us? So the contents of this uh, program are especially coming in from the teachings of the Master Key System, uh, the Sankhya Darshan and the uh, Yogic Darshan, Yoga Darshan of Patanjali. Okay. So there is a very popular law of attraction in the Western world. What this law essentially says is the thoughts, the ideas which you are holding in your mind uh, with concentration, with persistence, with passion, they will turn into reality. You will attract such circumstances, such conditions, such people, such events in your life. So thoughts create our physical reality. So if you want any particular physical reality in our life, all we need to do is create thoughts which match that physical reality and we hold on to those thoughts. We nurture those thoughts. We give energy to those thoughts. We concentrate on those thoughts. We hold those thoughts for long durations of time. We do visualization on those thoughts. We do meditation on those thoughts. We do creative imagination on those thoughts. So the more the activity we do around those thoughts, more easily we will find those things will turn real in our life. They will turn a physical reality. They will become a real event, a real circumstance in our life. So this is one of the biggest secrets that outside is not created by outside. Outside is created by inside. We need to work on the inside. So let us look at this uh, uh, very important statement. You know, we have known that we have two minds. Uh, in the individual level. One is the conscious mind <clears throat> and the other is the subconscious mind. Conscious mind, the organ for the conscious mind is the human brain. The human brain is connected to the sense organs and the sense organs are where the conscious activity mostly gets performed the sense organs of perception and the sense organs of action. And <clears throat> there is very important to note that there is an organ of the subconscious mind also. And that organ of the subconscious mind is the solar plexus. So what happens is whenever we receive any thought in our brain, our conscious mind checks it out does some analysis, applies some logic to it, and whatever it thinks is right, is true, is correct, it allows it 
to be taken to the subconscious mind. It is sent to the solar plexus. And then that solar plexus will make it a reality, a part of the subconscious mind. Now, our subconscious mind does not have the ability to argue, does not have the ability to apply logic, does not have the ability to uh, question. So whatever it uh, uh, receives as final from the conscious mind, it accepts it as final and starts working on it. It starts devoting its time on it. Solar plexus is placed in the human body at such a point that the part meets the whole. That means this whole creation meets the part of the human being at the solar plexus. And it is at that point that the finite in us, the limited in us, connects to the infinite creation. It is that point where the universal, the whole universe, the whole creation connects to the individual because we are individual human beings. And if you look at the creation, this creation has two parts, what can be seen and what cannot be seen. So the human being, the solar plexus is the point at which the visible comes. The visible starts playing a role. Till then, it is the invisible, it is the unlimited. Till then, it is the uh, the infinite creation becomes alive at the finite point in the human body at the solar plexus because solar plexus is the organ of the subconscious mind. This solar plexus, which is the organ of the subconscious mind, merges with the universal, merges with the infinite. That is the junction point. And who is feeding the subconscious mind? The subconscious mind is being fed by the conscious mind. And where is the conscious mind getting its inputs? The conscious mind is getting its inputs from the world outside through the five senses. And where is the conscious mind acting on the world outside? It is acting on the world outside through the five organs of action. But whatever the conscious mind is picking from the outer world, it is putting it to a test. It is putting it to a check. It is putting it to some reasoning. It is putting it to some judgment. It is putting it to some logic. And only when the conscious mind is convinced that the sensory input from the world outside is safe, is true, is correct, can be taken in. It is fed to the solar plexus of the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind cannot check. Subconscious mind believes the conscious mind that whatever it is giving is correct. So this is the way there is an interconnection between the conscious mind the subconscious mind and the universal mind or the infiniteness of the creation. All three are connected. All three are actually in a series. Conscious connected to the subconscious, subconscious plexus. This is like the sun of the body. You see in the name also there is solar. So solar means the presence of power, the presence of sun, the presence of energy. So why is it called solar plexus? Because this point, solar plexus, is the central point in our nervous system from where energy is distributed to all over the body. 
And this, this energy is constantly getting generated. This energy is constantly getting distributed by real nerves. These are no imaginary nerves. So if, if you Google uh, solar plexus, you will find that solar plexus is a small organ close to the heart of the human body. And there are a lot of nerves there. So these nerves carry energy. They, it, it radiates energy, which it picks up from the uh, universal mind, from the infiniteness of the creation, and it is spread out through the whole body. You will find such people who have this solar radiation happening, who have this energy radiation happening in them. Such people are called magnetic personality. They have immense power. They can do a lot of good to society, good to people. And if you are present close to such a person, you will feel a, a sense of comfort. You will feel a sense of relaxation. You will feel a sense of happiness. You will feel as if your troubles of the mind have suddenly disappeared away. There is a relaxation of the mind which happens. So if you are standing close, if you are physically close to a person whose solar plexus is active, that energy which is getting radiated is positive energy, is good energy. It is going to his entire body. And it is in a way also coming from out of his body to the environment nearby, to the people close by. And those people feel his power. They, they feel a sense of energy. They feel a sense of goodness. They feel a sense of comfort. They feel a sense of relaxation of the mind. They feel that their stress has gone away. So this is the benefit. If you are close to a person whose solar plexus is active. And how is, how is the solar plexus active? Because the solar plexus represents the subconscious mind, it is the junction point with the universal mind. So if such a person is in tune with the universe, if such a person is able to receive energy from the universe, that energy comes at the point of the solar plexus. And from there, it gets distributed through his nerves to all parts of a body. Such a person is magnetic. He, you will feel as if there is magnetism in him. There is flow of energy in him. There is a lot of charge in him. There is a lot of uh, positivity in him. There's a lot of constructiveness in him. In him. There is a lot of uh, uh, happiness in him. And this, this uh, like a magnetic field, will impact you, will impact other people standing close to him. Will, will also make you feel a bit magnetic, will also make you feel a bit happy, will also make you feel a bit relaxed, will also make you feel the energy. So that energy is there in the air. Such person hold attention of other people very well. And they essentially are good people, constructive people. It is nice to be friendly with such people. It is nice to be in company of such people because then their qualities start rubbing off on you also. As I said before, when the solar plexus is an active operation, he radiates life, he radiates energy, he radiates vitality. And it is just not... Uh, in the air, you know, his entire body feels that energy. He will be active. He will be uh, able to do a lot of uh, uh, physical work. Uh, he will be able to give you enthusiasm. He'll be able to give you encouragement. He'll be able to inspire you. So there will be energy oozing out from all over his body into the environment around. And the sensation, how do you know that it is coming uh, in a right manner to you? You will feel pleasant. You will feel your body is full of health and energy and charged up. So this is the, this in fact should happen to you directly. 
if you are able to charge up your solar plexus, if you are able to come and tune with the universal mind, if you are able to come and tune with the minds beyond the universal mind, the infiniteness of this creation, if there is flow of that energy, you will feel it. So we will tell you how, how it can be done and what happens in case it is not there. So if somebody is not getting this radiation, then the feelings in the body are not good. You will, you will feel uh, lethargic, you will feel tired, you will feel uh, unhappy, uh, you will feel uh, stressful, uh, you will feel irritated. So whenever there is lack of energy, these kind of symptoms start coming up. So whenever you are able to experience these kind of feelings, that means your connection of the solar plexus is not working and you need to find out a way to make it workable for you again. Now, the, the break can happen in three forms. You can, you can find out that the connection has broken in three different ways and there, are, there can be uh, these three ways also to restart it. So let's look at what are these three forms. First is on the physical level. Physical level, the flow of energy will drop. Physical level, the body will not feel energized. The body will not feel vitalized. The body will not feel full of uh, uh, activity. The body will feel lethargic. The body will feel dull. The body will feel lazy. The body will feel slow in action. So at the physical level, the energy drops and corresponding things happen. So you, that is the first sign that the connection is broken. The second is that the mental work, the, if the conscious mind and the subconscious mind are connected well, and if they are connected to the higher minds well, then you will find a flow of mental energy, which will flow from the universal to the subconscious to the conscious mind and you will find the mental processes active, the mental processes fast, the mental processes uh, full of uh, positivity. Uh, you will find your creativity has increased. You will find your power of imagination has increased. You will find your intelligence level is operating at a higher level. You will find your ability to grasp knowledge is at, is at the higher level. So, so on the mental front, you will find changes. Uh, with the connection, with the solar plexus, with the infinite, with the universal mind, all the mental processes will become active, will become better, will lead to higher performance, will lead to more uh, intellectual satisfaction. Otherwise, there will be lack of energy on the mind, lack of energy in the mental processes, mental dullness, mental confusion, uh, mental uh, doubts. Uh, these kind of things will start happening. And on the uh, environmental front, if, if there is a break in connection between your subconscious mind and your uh, universal mind, you will find that the flow of energy in the environment will be reduced. The, the, the environment will feel heavy. The, the environment in which you are will feel dull. The environment in which you are active will, will feel negative, uh, will feel dark. So once if you are connected, then the physical plane, the mental plane, the environmental plane, all of them get active, all of them get lighted up, all of them get energized, and the human performance goes up to a very high level. Now, how to control this? How to establish the connection? And how to control this connection? This is... Uh, uh, of vital importance and this needs to be learned. You see, the subconscious mind, as we told you initially, cannot think for itself. 
the subconscious mind believes the conscious mind. So whatever the conscious mind tells it, the subconscious mind, mind does it. It quietly accepts whatever is coming to it. So here, it is the conscious mind, which is the controller of the energy levels of the solar plexus. If you are creating good conscious thoughts, you will find your solar plexus getting active. If you are thinking negative uh, conscious thoughts, you will find your solar plexus weakening up. So the consciousness uh, which is active in you decides on the energy levels which will be active in you. The consciousness of what you are thinking will decide the behavior of your solar plexus, will decide the activity in your solar plexus. So you see the solar plexus, which is connected to the infinite, which can handle infinite energy, has the controller, has the switch, has the operation of its power in the, subcon in the conscious mind. And the conscious mind is completely under your control because you are conscious of your conscious mind. You can intentionally put any thought in your conscious mind. You can put a positive thought, you can put a negative thought, you can put a destructive thought, you can put a constructive thought, you can put a grand thought, you can put a small thought, petty thought. So it is entirely up to you what you are thinking, what you want to think, what you want to achieve. That decides your thought process in the conscious mind and that thought in the conscious mind controls the activity of the solar plexus. So if you are putting in positive, big, grand thoughts, you will find the solar plexus completely opening up and your whole body, whole mind, whole environment will get energized. But if you are not doing it, if you are not holding on to good, positive, grand thoughts, if you are thinking negative, if you are thinking in a depressed manner, if you are full of anxiety, if you are full of nervous thoughts, then you will find this connection of power which is coming from the universal mind, which is coming from the creation, will diminish in power, will reduce in power, and only what you think will start getting reflected in the solar plexus. So solar plexus, though a very powerful entity, is controlled by the conscious mind, is controlled by the consciousness. Now, there is a way by which you can intentionally expand your solar plexus. And that method is very simple. If you are thinking non-resistant thought, if there is no resistance in, the, in your thought, if there is no friction in your thought, if there is no opposition in your thought, if you're not trying to fight against anybody, if you're not creating an argument out of your thought, if your thought is harmonious, if your thought is cooperative, if your thought is constructive, if your thought is positive, you will find your solar plexus will expand. And when your thought is the reverse, when your thought is destructive, when your thought is resistant, when your thought is causing friction, when your thought is argumentative, when your thought is narrow-minded, you will find the solar plexus will shrink, will contract. So for us, it is very important that we are focused on the right kind of thought, the right kind of thought process, which is constructive, which is expanding, which is in harmony with all other thoughts, which is in cooperation with all other thoughts. And then we will find an abundance of physical energy, mind energy, and presence in our personality. We will become magnetic in our personality. Just your thoughts will control your personality. Right kind of thoughts can make your personality magnetic. So supposing you are thinking thoughts of courage, you are thinking thoughts of power, you are thinking thoughts of confidence, and you are thinking thoughts of hope, then they will produce a corresponding state. And you will find 
your whole mind full of courage, full of power, full of confidence, and full of hope. So solar plexus, you can say, is kind of an amplifier. Whatever you are thinking from your smaller conscious mind gets amplified in your whole mind, in your whole subconscious mind, in your whole universal mind. And you become predominantly dominated by that thought. So thoughts of courage will make you full of courage. Thoughts of power will make you full of power. Thoughts of confidence will make you full of confidence. Thoughts of hope will fill you full with hope. So, so this, this, this is another relationship you can understand that just by putting a small effort in the right thought, a big output of right thought can be created because of the solar plexus. And there is only one big enemy of the solar plexus which can diminish all your power in no time. That is fear. There must be no element of fear because fear is the most dangerous enemy of the human mind. It can shrink all your powers in no time. It can suck dry all the energy, all the positivity, all the faith in no time. So one must always be at guard. One must always ensure that there is no fear in the system. There is no fear in the mind. There is no fear at any level because fear like Hindi mein bolte hai na dimak wo dimak ki tara sab kha jata hai aur bahut jaldi kha jata hai. Dimak might take some time to eat but solar plexus ke andar agar aap fear ko dal lete hain to whole system can collapse. Okay, now uh, this enemy fear. Some people have fear of the past. Some people have fear of the present. And some people have fear of the future. Fear can be of various types. There's some incident which happened in the past and you are fearful about it. You're not able to let it go away. Some people are scared about the present. They are scared that something wrong will happen. Something uh, destroying will happen, something harmful will happen, something painful will happen because of certain uncertainties of nature. So they are worried by the fear of the present. Others have fear of the future. They are not certain about what the future will hold for them. Some people fear themselves because of their past record. They are concerned that they will again do some goof up. They will again cause some problem. Some people have fear of their friends, that my friends did not behave properly with me the last time. They uh, ditched me. They sort of uh, uh, took undue advantage of me. So the, again, the same thing might happen. Some have fear of their enemies. So people can have fear of anything and everything. You know, they can have fear of everybody. Uh, fear, if it goes out of control, it can lead to complete hell. So one has to be very, very particular, very, very careful in handling fear. And once you find that fear is developing, you must handle it very, very boldly and handle it then and there. Okay. Most of the times what we fear does not happen. So it is very, very important that we fearlessly take, take on fear whenever it comes, because otherwise the price can be very high to pay. Uh, and when you, when you find that you have taken care of fear, you have effectively handled fear, you will find that your inner light will shine. You will find your power will come back. You will find the energy levels will come back. You will find the activity will come back. You will find the goodness will come back. You will find the constructiveness in your thought process, the harmony, everything will come back. And uh, you will find that you are at the very source of power, energy, and life. So fear has to be handled. Any way, fear has to be handled. And one has to get back into positivity of life. One has to get back into the energy zone, into the activity zone, into the action zone of life. You see, if you are able to realize that this infinite power 
this uh, universal mind is connected continuously with your uh, solar plexus. And if you can consciously realize this power, then you will find that you are able to take care of reverse situations, adverse situations, just by the power of your thought. And once you are able to realize that it is the power of the thought which gets amplified in the solar plexus and can do wonders, can take on uh, bigger things, then you will find that your fear has been completely uh, overtaken, your fear has been completely destroyed, and you will come into possession of your birthright. What is your birthright? Your birthright is your over your thought. You are free to think whatever you want. So once again, you think of courage, think of confidence, uh, think of energy, think of boldness, uh, think of harmony. And once again, you're able to recoup all that which was lost and you're able to find your correct way in life. You see, uh, so whatever we are generally broadly thinking in our uh, conscious mind is what direction our life takes. Because whatever we are thinking in our conscious mind, that is tested, checked and judged by our conscious mind and it is fed to the subconscious mind. That it is true, it is correct. So it is fed to the solar plexus. So whatever is fed to the solar plexus as true and correct, as right, the solar plexus immediately works on it, it gets expanded. It becomes a bigger power. It becomes uh, a kind of an infinite power. And then you find that you are once again able to enjoy a higher degree of life, higher degree of performance, higher degree of happiness, bliss, higher degree of knowledge, higher degree of power, higher degree of presence, your life takes, takes on a higher, bigger loop. So uh, conscious mind controls the subconscious mind. Subconscious mind is connected to the universal mind, which has access to infinite powers. And this connection is controlled by what we are thinking in the conscious mind. So if we are thinking correctly in our conscious mind, we can do wonders, with our subconscious mind. If you are expect, if you are expecting wonders, you will get wonders. If you're expecting nothing, you will get nothing. Because whatever you think will start happening because of your solar plexus being connected to the universal mind, to the infinite mind. Okay. Now, how do you learn? You learn this by practice. You see an athlete has to practice again and again. A player who is playing tennis at the world level has to practice regularly. A footballer who would be playing in the World Cup, football World Cup, must have done intense practice and must be practicing even today. So practice is very, very important in terms of the mind. And practice is by what you can form your predominant mental attitude. You can by regular thinking in a particular direction, uh, tune your conscious mind to think in a particular way as a habit. You can tune your subconscious mind to think in a particular way as a habit. So whatever you are thinking continuously with practice will become the habit of the solar plexus to naturally take that input and to think that way. And then you will automatically be performing at a far higher level. You will be performing uh, under ideal conditions, knowledge, power, intelligence, presence, uh, control over time, immunity of the body, health, happiness, bliss, all of them will start showing up. So uh, practice is what is important. It cannot happen just by doing it once or twice, you have to be particular about it. You have to keep your mind at it and train your subconscious mind to think in the higher way. Achha, another very important point here is if you are wanting anything particular from the uh, subconscious mind, from the connection to the infinite minds, then you just have to tell what you want. 
you need not tell the method, the way, the path, because the conscious mind is finite. It cannot tell the infinite mind how to get a particular thing, but it can request the infinite mind that this is what I desire. Can you help me to get it? And then the chances of it happening will be far, far higher. So you have to desire what you want and not tell how you want. So you, you need to tell your end goal and not be focused on the path. This is uh, what you must keep in mind. So as a mental exercise, you can uh, for a few minutes uh, uh, practice later on, close your eyes, sit comfortably and give a particular thought to your, to your subconscious mind consciously. And then give a good thought, give a constructive thought, and then see how you feel. You will find your body will be feeling better. Your mind will be feeling better. Uh, you will feel more happy. You will feel more calm. You will feel more relaxed. So what you consciously think programs the subconscious mind, activates the solar plexus, and gives you corresponding results. Yeah, we, we help uh, businessmen achieve their desired goals by one-to-one -one coaching based on these principles. So if you're interested, you can note down this WhatsApp number and this mail ID, and then somebody from our side will contact you. We will find out what goals you are looking at, what time frames you are looking at, and then we will offer you a customized package by which you will be able to move towards those goals in the required time frame. Yeah, so with that, we come to the end of this session. And uh, in case if you have any questions, you may ask. Uh, thank you, sir, for this comprehensive talk. Really, it's amazing. Okay, fine. Thank you so much. This is very, very important that you practice this. And you will be amazed by the results. Yes, yeah, Sangeeta ji? Okay. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, fine. yes. Fine then. So we uh, close today's session. Uh, uh, thank you so much and see you next Sunday. Yeah. Namaskar to all of you.